So at the beginning of 2020, because of the cough, cough, uh, social panic, uh, one of the things that there was a run on was toilet paper. Well, you know, and the funny thing is you don't even need that. It's toilet paper is kind of a barbaric way to clean yourself. You can be much cleaner with the, the French invention of a bidet. Anyway, so imagine my car here, splattered with dirt or mud, whatever. That's, you know, that's your butt. Do I just want to take dry toilet paper and just smear that around? Or do I want to wash that off, right? Look, so you can clean yourself. And it, it's not as efficient as the water pressure, but it works. Look at that. I'm pumping and I'm cleaning it off, right? And then you, you dump it in a bucket. I hear the air. It'll probably get better uh, pressure if I seal it. But look at that. It cleaned it. Right? Imagine that's your butt. You're all clean. You dump it in the woods. You dump it somewhere far away. You get it away from you. This is how you survive the collapse. People are going to die of cholera and dysentery. They're going to die from ingesting their own sewage right and the beach box which I sell on my Amazon store link below will make you an expert in sanitation you know you, this in a bucket and some organic matter but you know you spray it out you're gonna have water pressure in the collapse you're really gonna miss you're gonna miss hot water you're gonna miss drinkable water and you're gonna miss water pressure in both cold and hot there's your water pressure and I also am selling how to make hot water, both with a wood-fired stove and just with the sun and with electricity. You want to have all three ways of making hot water. So you got hot water, you got water pressure, and the, the water filters, you have drinkable water, right? And so this is how you, because if you make it through this time, this difficult time that's coming, and you make it to the other side, things will be better. We'll have a more human way of life, a more normal way of life that doesn't, you know, conflict with our nature, right? There is a such thing as human nature, and a, a lot of unnatural things are being forced on us that we don't like. We just don't want it, right? Um, so survive what's coming because the crazy, weirdo, ruling elites are also incompetent. So your weapon is confidence and it's and it's teaching confidence to your fellow man. It's wishing the fellow the best for your fellow man. You want people around you to be as hardworking, as competent, and as clean and as successful as you are. You want that for them. You don't want to lord over them. But you know, you work hard, they work hard, everybody works hard, produces goods and services, trades with each other, and then we have a a civilized society, we don't fight, we, we survive. Because, you know, our enemies are the people who want to make us eat bugs, who want to put all kinds of weird um, stuff on us. And you know what I'm talking about, right? I can, everybody knows, right? So by being self-sufficient is the way to beat the system. And you don't have to be individually self-sufficient what we can do is we can be collectively self-sufficient so this thing can be keep sanitation for dozens of people just one of these things you know not every person needs to have every device right and the, and the world economic forum says you'll share everything well you know what in a certain sense yes we will and that'll be more efficient it'll save us a lot of money we will create a very efficient infrastructure um, and so we won't need so much from the vending machine, from the great, you know, agribusiness vending machine. We will produce more for ourselves and we'll have more freedom. And what the government will want from us is our competence. They will want us to do stuff for them, you know, to keep their planes working, to keep civilization functioning. And if we can offer that, then we can say, hey, we're gonna keep your civilization working. But in exchange, we want freedom. We want liberty.
We don't want you telling us what to do. We want self-governance. We want to um, raise our children the way we see, think, you know, is best for them. Uh, and we don't want you sticking your nose in our business, you know? Stay out of our business, man. And this kind of thing, self-sufficiency and thriving when society is falling apart, this is how we save ourselves. It, 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 um, politically, I'm, I think that politics should be structured to promote the wisdom of the crowd, right? That the, everyone kind of is allowed to be creative and try things and help each other, right? And being just kind of, but no, the, the, the crowd can come can figure things out. And we can use the wisdom of the crowd to optimize the wisdom of the crowd by saying, okay, we consciously, we are a political system based on the wisdom of the crowd because that will give us the best outcomes. So what promotes the wisdom of the crowd? That's kind of your political constitution, right? And um, as far as that goes, I would say the wisdom of the crowd constitution should let pe encourage people to be producers and not put a lot of barriers to production, right? So you don't have to jump through a bunch of political hoops. It's the job of the government to to make sure that you jump through those hoops, you know, and, and they want you to be a producer. They don't make you jump through the hoops. The hoops are already jumped through. You know, they are. it's already set up. And if you want to go do an, a niche and do it really well, then, you know, it should be easy enough to go into it and you should keep the most of what you produce. Um, taxes should be at absolute minimum. Government should not be big, you know, because we're all civilized. We're all operating it by the wisdom of the crowd. So, you know, crime and conflict is minimized, right? Or, or dealt with locally in humane and rational ways, right? And then really the hard cases get sent, get sent up to the big government. But uh, yeah, you know, we can make society function without big government telling us what to do. And we can do it better. You know, we can do it with less pollution, more efficiently, um, with people with less conflict. Very much kind of the, you know, the Austrian school of economics is trust people to be decent among themselves. And like, say if you have people that drop a lot of trash, right? Well, okay. So you tax them, those very people, for someone that goes and picks up the trash every day, right? And say, hey, look, like, if you don't wanna pay for people to go picking up trash, then don't throw it on the ground, you know? You can either make the effort to um, deal with your materials ethically, or you can pay the extra tax to, for the for the street cleaners, you know? And the, Street cleaning, I mean, it's a good job, you know, people have jobs and, you know, that's the way it's going to be. But so, for example, in nearby city, they, there's a lot of garbage all over the place. They should hire street cleaners, you know, and they should, and the local people should, maybe the street cleaners will shame people to not, you know, litter, some littering, anti-littering propaganda, right? That sort of thing. But um, we can govern ourselves, you know we are good people in most you know what i mean we uh we are a critical mass of decent people and and you know we can work this out you know i know the people i, I work with and they're all like really great people and when the shit hits the fan i'm gonna work together with my co-workers to survive and they're gonna help the people in their circles you know and it will go outward it'll be great I mean, in a way, the collapse will be a chance for us to be human again, and to and to figure out a new a new way to run society without all the government contracting money, like taking up so much of the market space. Right? There's going to be free enterprise again, and, and freedom of conscience again. So, anyways, I mean, look how clean my car is from this hand pump sprayer. You definitely want this thing. You can spray yourself off you know and be nice and clean you can you can take a shower with it and pump it up
So someone will be pumping, someone will be showering. Isn't that great? Look at that, water pressure. It's amazing. You'll have it. Civilization might be on the fritz, but you will be able to take a shower. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe.